Hi everybody, Healthy Prepper here with some unusual uses for newspapers for preppers. If you find you have an overabundance of newspapers around your house, here are some potential uses for them. I have a video on the first one and I'll put a link to it down below, but basically you can make emergency fire logs in an SHTF situation by rolling, wetting, and then air drying these to be used later as emergency logs. Number two, you can start seedlings in newspaper. Uh, basically you want to get a paper that doesn't have a lot of color on it. Any, well, these do, but um, you wet the paper and in between the sheets you can lay down individual seeds and cover the seeds with paper and then dampen the entire thing. And then in the next day or so you're going to see little rootlets form and the seed will sprout and you'll be able to transfer these to soil. It's an easy way to make um, seedlings start. You can also make mock soil in a pinch. You can take um, newspaper, tear it up, shred it, soak it, mix it with some uh, tree litter, some uh, leaves, some twigs, some mulch, some bark, uh, mix it around in some pails and let it sit and it will naturally compost and give you a nice uh, uh, soil base which you can actually transfer the little seedlings into. Number four, um, you can wrap avocados, tomatoes, or bananas in sheets, individual sheets of newspaper to help the fruit ripen faster. Uh, leave your wrapped fruit on the counter overnight and check daily for optimal ripeness. Number five, you can of course clean glass with uh, newspaper, crumpled up newspaper and Windex. That's an old one. Uh, number six, you can dry shoes or boots that have been soaked or snow soaked overnight. Uh, basically, you crumple up newspaper um, tightly, stuff it deeply into the boot or shoe, and uh, let, allow it to absorb the moisture out. You may need to pull out the papers and change them and recrumple new ones several times throughout the night. But that will work in a pinch. Keeping dry feet is key during any SHTF situation. Number seven, uh, in the garden, you can cover plants during a frost, so you'll be using the newspaper sheets as a form of insulation. Number eight, you can use it as protective sheeting for any uh, work table use. Um, for example, if you're working with glue or with foods, you can lay down uh, sheets of newspaper as a protectant and then just crumple everything up and toss it away. Number nine, you can roll up um, a bunch and use it as a knee pad in the garden or for scrubbing floors. You can, number 10, you can remove smells from plastic or Tupperware by crumpling it up and stuffing it into the Tupperware that has a, uh, has a food type smell in it that you can't seem to get the tomato sauce out. So you just crumple it up, stuff it in there as much as you can and let it sit and over the few days it will remove the smell. Number 11, you can remove musty smells from boots or suitcases using the same concept. Just crumple up uh, newspaper sheets tightly and stuff them as uh, tight as you can into the space, whether it be a boot or a bag or a suitcase, and it will, the drying action will help remove the musty smell. Number 12, if you're preparing a garden, you can lay down layers of newspaper on some grass. You add about four inches or so of shredded leaves, bark, mulch, etc., and then hose everything down. And then come spring, this will be a beautiful compost blanket for your new garden, and it will be demarcated to the shape that you've laid down the newspaper. Number 13, you can line a veggie drawer, and you can do this in a, in a fridge or in a root cellar. In other words, it can be a dry or a moist environment. Lay, uh, put layers of newspaper down underneath your veggies so that it will absorb the moisture and your veggies will stay fresher longer. Um, number 13, 14, you can make a makeshift umbrella. I think we've all done this at some point. Carry, put that over your head and run inside. Uh, number 15, um, you can wrap around candle bottoms at the base, especially tapered candles, so they fit uh, nice and snugly into the holders so they don't fall over and cause a fire. Yeah. Number 16, you can make a sheath for a knife. If your origami skills are well developed, you can fold this up and make a knife sheath. There you go. Okay, there's better origamists out there than me. <laughs> Uh, number 17, you can stuff crumpled up newspaper under doors and in window cracks if you're having a problem with cold air seeping in. 
Number 18, you can place a sheet on a jar top and then screw on the jar top on top of that if you're having a difficult time with some loose lids. Number 19, you can make an emergency pot holder. So you can use that two ways. You can either actually grab the handle of the pot, uh, like a frying pan, a cast iron frying pan with newspaper if it's really hot, or you can fold this up in fours and uh, rest your pot on that. Uh, we got number 20. Uh, you can use it to fan fires, of course. Number 21. You can spread between garden rows in order to just discourage uh, weed growth. Number 22. You can roll it up tightly and use it as a torch. And number three, the final one. You can put it under car wheels if stuck in snow. Although I have found that the, the car mat tends to work a little bit better, but if you don't have car mats and you do have an old newspaper in the car, that might get you out in a pinch. So there you go, folks, just tossing out some unusual uses for newspapers for preppers. Take care, everyone. Happy and healthy prepping. I'd love to hear your comments below if you have any other ideas. I would absolutely love to hear them. I know our listeners would love to hear them as well. So please feel free to comment and share below. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Happy and healthy prepping.